we start with kinematic description of fluid flow although we have mentioned it before but i thought it necessary that we go over it again on some of the things because i want to illustrate some of the things that are related to this uh, because it's so important that the whole study of fluid dynamics is based on this so as the name suggests the kinematics means the motion of fluid flow and after all uh, what are we going to study we are studying fluid flow and its different mechanism how to study it how to describe it how to describe motion how to describe the particles the fluid material that moves so it's important to study kinematics of fluids thoroughly and therefore as well it studied is in uh, solid mechanics as well but here we are only uh, interested with the fluid flow which is much more complex because it has additional things additional parameters that are added into it in fluid mechanics an element go under four fundamental changes or fundamental types of four types of uh, motion so ye char jo hai basically ek hai linear motion dusri hai rotation ye cheeze hum solid body movement mein bhi dekhte hain lekin uske sath yahan par jo added thing hai wo ye hai ki jo fluid hai when an external force is applied it deforms it moves in the same direction in which the force is applying so therefore there are added things so that generates or involve strain and also shear strain linear strain shear strain so that makes it more complex because the study of these parameters makes adds level of complexity to the study of fluid flow so the first type is translation as you can see just from here to here a particle moves from left to right in the linear direction let's say x direction or y direction in a straight line so we call that as a translational motion and uh, that's one type of motion and normally a motion is composed of linear motion plus a rotational motion but as i said here we add other parameters like strain and uh, shear strain and so and stress and so on so in linear motion a body or a particle or fluid particle or fluid material will move from one point to another point in a linear direction in a straight line the other one other possibility is that if the force is applied in a way that generates a rotation that gives an angular movement to the fluid and therefore you can see that the particle that was first fixed has now moved to in this shape and this is described with the dotted lines so dotted lines are the change position and they have moved under the action of external force that is applied to certain amount of fluid so that generates rotation and the, you can see that the angle if you see the two perpendicular lines then the angle they which were horizontal in the beginning has now moved about 45 degrees so therefore uh, in the counter clockwise direction this is also important in which direction the fluid is flowing if it is rotating is it counter clockwise rotation or is it clockwise rotation because the direction of the motion then the takes place so then the third one is uh, linear strain strain as you are familiar we study it in mechanics solid mechanics as well it is the change in shape in the body in the linear direction due to an application of external force so jaisa ki aap yahan par dekh rahe hain ke there was a body which is fixed external force is applied and it has moved to this position it has stretched itself so stretch hone se that is 
linear strain the change in length per unit length will be the linear strain and in the same way the rotation when the external forces introduce rotation the strain that takes place the movement of the angle through which the particle moves will be we call it as shear strain and because the fluids are in constant motion deformation is the uh, is best described in terms of rates so when we use velocity then what is velocity velocity is rate of change of distance with respect to time if we denote the distance traveled x in time t and that's what we call as uh, velocity so this is rate of translation distance traveled per unit time velocity then velocity will be used so that is one parameter that we use similarly angular velocity angular velocity is if we have to give it this is v is equal to omega r where omega is the angular velocity and r is the radius of the circle in which it, the fluid may be rotating and similarly linear strain is rate of linear strain so linear strain will be the rate of linear strain that is it will be change in in let's say length divided by the total length and similarly the shear strain rate of translation and rotation and obviously if when we if we have to write i when i wrote the velocity components in the earlier slide i was writing only x over t that is in the x direction or in one dimension but if we are writing uh, the velocity vector in and imagine considering in three dimensional motion then we will have x y z components the velocity will be uh, moving will have the velocity component in the x direction the velocity component in the y direction and the velocity component in z direction if i j k are unit vectors in that direction then v will be denoted by u i plus small v i plus w k i j k are unit direction unit vectors in x y n z directions so which are our general frame of reference in cartesian coordinates uh, similarly rate of rotation at a point is defined as the average rate of uh, two initially perpendicular line that intersect at that point the picture b is showing that similarly we come to this is b this reflects the rate of rotation the rate of rotation vector is equal to the angular velocity vector and is expressed in coordinates as omega and it will have components as is equal to 1 by 2 partial derivative w by partial derivative with respect to y minus partial derivative of v with respect to z and this component will be in the x direction and similarly there are other two uh, components of this rotation vector uh, which is normally we denote by w